Hi everybody, my name is Connor, and welcome to another episode of Animal Tracks and Signs. Now today we are looking for herptofauna, and that's a big word that means both reptiles and amphibians. So we'll be looking for animals like frogs, toads, lizards, snakes, and turtles. Now, full disclosure, the footage you are seeing in today's video has been taken throughout the year. And that's because sometimes, depending on the time of the year, these animals can be very hard to find. A lot of them live a good amount of their lives underground, hiding from the intense weather that we receive here, depending on the time of year. Now, if you're looking for herptofauna, remember to give these animals space, to be respectful, and also not to get discouraged. Now, de again, depending on the time of year, some of these animals are very tricky to find, even signs of them being there at any time. So remember to try again and try new places, and you never know what you'll find. The first animal we see is a gray tree frog. This is a lucky sight since they are usually active at night. We can often hear them calling from the treetops and occasionally our backyards where they like to hunt bugs that are attracted to lights. Let's hear their call. Next we see a spring peeper. What a beauty. It looks like this one found some nice wet moss to keep them hydrated out of the water. Spring peepers get their name because of the peeping calls they have. Here's what a whole field of them sounds like. Even without seeing them, we can tell they're here. This cricket frog is well hidden among the grass and dirt. Cricket frogs are very common in my area, and their call kind of sounds like marbles or rocks hitting each other. Let's listen. Our next animal is another amphibian, an American toad. These can be easier to spot because their bright colors and bumps are a warning to predators that they don't taste good. Let's listen to a toad calling. When we hear this noise, the toads are happy. This is a big, beautiful bullfrog. Depending on the time of year, they can be a bit sluggish. I was lucky enough to find this one when the water was still cold. Hey little friend. If you ever pick up an amphibian, make sure your hands are clean and moist and return them back to where they came from. Next we have a huge tadpole. Here's what is called a froglet. Not quite tadpole, not quite full grown frog. Any idea what this could be a sign of? This long sleeve is the complete shed skin left behind from a growing snake. Snakes shed throughout their entire lives. Sometimes the skin they leave behind can be misleading, because it can be twice as large as the snake itself. Can you find our hidden herptofauna in this picture? This picture was taken in spring when snakes come out of the ground to warm themselves. This is a red-sided garter snake. They can release a musk that makes them easy to smell before you can even see them. Here's a close cousin, a ribbon snake, also warming up from brew mating all winter. Spring is a great time to find snakes in Missouri. Just remember to leave them be so they can soak up the sun and we can get better pictures that way as well. Next we see another common Missouri snake, a water snake. All snakes are good swimmers, but these snakes specialize in hunting in and around the water. Here's a closer view of a water snake. See how their tongue flicks? That's a sign that this snake has picked up my scent and is a little wary of me. Once their head moved, I backed off so I wouldn't disturb their passing time. Water snakes aren't venomous, but they do have sharp teeth for grabbing fish, so it's always a good idea to leave them be. Here is an adorable reptile couple, a pair of broad-headed skinks. See how the males and females are different colors? Many herptofauna species in Missouri have beautiful colors for gathering the attention of a mate. Now this may be the most famous Missouri lizard, a five-line skink. We typically spot them the easiest as babies when their tails are still bright blue. Last but certainly not least, a three-toed box turtle. I can tell this is a male by his bright orange scales and beautiful red eyes. These are some striking colors for an animal that usually we wouldn't expect to be so colorful. Just like the skinks, these box turtles use their colors to gather the attention of potential mates. 
Well, thank you all for joining me on another episode of Animal Tracks and Signs. I had an amazing time putting together the footage for this video, and I had a lot of help from my teammates. I couldn't have done it without. Thank you all for joining. Have a great rest of your day, and good luck finding those herptofauna out in our area. <laughs> Take care.